Let me tell you about Robin. Robin's, uh, Robin's going to come up here. She's going to rock the world. But I'm telling you what, when she was a gymnast, and she goes, Gene, my coach came to me and said, you never say this to someone like Robin. You're never going to be in the Olympics. So the next year, she won the state championship in balance beam and vault. So from Charleston, South Carolina, let's give it up for Robin Fowler. Come on, Robin! Hello, everybody. So, we're going to get off. Y'all came to Cabo to play, right? All right, so we're going to play. So the first thing I'm going to ask everybody to do, just like you're in a baseball game, starting on this side of the room, I want everybody to do the wave. We're going to go all the way across the room. The minute you sit down, I want you to stand back up and go all the way back. Everybody got it? Everybody with me? Okay, on the count of three, you guys are starting. And by the way, feel free to go like, while you're doing it, because that makes it more fun. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! Woo! All right, bring it back, bring it back! Woo! You guys are awesome. Give yourselves a hand. All right, today we're going to talk about some facts first. Fire agency commissions are potentially changing at some point. 2023 was the worst year in U.S. home sales in nearly 30 years. In 2024, it may not be any different than 2023. What that has done in our market is it has created a lot of fear. And what fear does is it causes us to retract, stop taking risks. But what if, instead of being fearful, we switched our mindset. And in chaos and uncertainty, which is the market we're in right now, we decided to look for opportunity. So what are your opportunities? See, Tony Robbins says, leaders anticipate, losers react. So what do I mean by anticipate? Wayne Gretzky, arguably one of the best hockey players of all time, a little bit of a goon. He was interviewed and they said, how do you do it? Very famous quote. He said, I skate to where the puck is going to be, not where it has been. That is to anticipate. It's time to skate to where the puck is going. In 2023, I believe the most successful agents did the same things they did in 2022, just more of them, right? More calls, more contacts, more marketing, more farming, right? They brute forced themselves into success in 2023. And congratulations to all of them. You busted butt. But I'm here to suggest that if we are to thrive in 2024, we cannot do business as usual. If we are going to thrive, we need to skate to where the puck is going. We're going to talk about three things today. Number one, think differently. You've heard a lot of people tell you to work on your business. I don't disagree. But I do agree you should work on yourself first because the internal changes the external. And you would be shocked when you first see it happen. Tony Robbins says when you invest in yourself, there is no depreciation. So how are you going to invest in yourself? Optimize your habits and patterns. A habit is something you do without thinking about it. Patterns is how you organize your life. Brent Gove said to us, 
What is the script of your life? And how can you change that? What's working? What's not working? Who's building you up? Who's dragging you down? And one of the most important things that I'm going to say today, are you majoring in minor things? Learn to manage your emotions. Change your physiology. Improve your body. My daughter, who's a gym rat, says to me all the time, you have to lift heavy things. Do cardio, and if you have not heard about doing breath work, look into it. It's been life-changing for me. Practice gratitude and prayer. Become more skilled, more effective, get mentally and physically tough. Number two, in thinking differently, figure out how to add value. You are paid in direct proportion to the value you create. Well, half the slide showed up. To create value, that is different for every one of us. So I would say, do everything well, but find the one thing that you do better than everybody else and figure out how to market that. Idea number two, improve your environment. It's time to get in the right room. You need to surround yourself with people that have all four of these characteristics. They need to be innovators. You cannot skate to where the puck is going if you are not surrounding yourself with people who think differently. People who have structured habits and disciplines in their life, growth-minded people who focus on personal development, and people who live in gratitude with their primary focus to serve others. If you find those people and you get in the room with them, your life will change. Your business will change. Idea number three, take massive action. We're going to talk about four ways to do that. Number one, 10x your goals. If I want to sell 50 homes next year, I have to have a certain budget. I have to have a certain amount of time and resources. If I want to sell 5,000 homes next year, that is going to take a completely different set of time, resources, and money. 10x your goals. Lower the threshold of what you need to know before you take action. Understand that progress is happiness. My son saw this to me all the time. You are forever going to be improving. If you decide that you're going to be happy or you're going to do these things when you reach your goals, I promise you, when you reach those goals, you're going to have new goals. You're going to have bigger goals after that. Be happy with the process and enjoy the journey. Reframe your fear of judgment or not being enough. In a world of social media, we are judged all the time. If you reframe that fear in your mind and say, my goal is to serve. If I make a call today and I try and help that agent improve their business, maybe that's coming to eXp, maybe it's not. But if your intent is to serve, then it doesn't matter what the outcome is. If your outcome is to bring that agent to eXp, then the outcome matters, right? When they don't join, you feel judged, you feel rejected. Come with the intent to serve. Because no matter what the outcome, you're going to have to bring the best of who you are on that next step. Believe me, if I recruited Jay Kinder, I would have to bring the best of who I am on that next step. And if I feel rejected, same. You can take a picture of this one. The goal is to be open to new ideas. Think differently. Work on yourself first. Surround yourself with the right people. If you are already with EXP, 
You are already in a room of innovators. We've heard about it all day long. You're in a room of servant leaders, people who put service first and then take massive action. This is how you prosper. You are not the manager of your circumstances. You are the designer of your life. It is time that we wake up in the morning, create the right patterns, design the day that we are going to have, and work on the internal first. Because there is opportunity in chaos. Plan to skate where your puck is going, anticipate, pivot, and find your value in 2024. Because most of you in this room are really smart people. And you may struggle because you have too much opportunity. And you don't know what opportunity to take advantage of. And I'll tell you, for me, it's about examining what time, resources, and money I have right now. I have a great idea for a tech company. I don't have the resources. Is that my best opportunity right now? No. But it is an an opportunity. So I challenge each one of you to look for the opportunity in your life, your way to add value with the resources you have. And why is all of this important? In 2016, I got a call standing at the top of my steps, a little over 40 years old at the time, and they told me I had breast cancer. Hmm. That is a picture of me right before my mastectomy trying to close a deal to pay my bills that month. If I didn't close that deal, I wasn't going to get my bills paid. So I told the surgeon, I have to get this in DocuSign off to my client before I go into surgery. Then the hospital gave me an infectious disease when they showered me after surgery. They gave it to 12 other women in the two years prior to giving it to me. It took me six months and so many antibiotics that I got so weak I couldn't make it from my bed to the bathroom. It took a total of 10 surgeries so that I could be here today. It took me six months to recover. By that time, we'd racked up $120,000 in credit card and hospital debt. I had no real estate pipeline and no other income. And I thought to myself, Lord, there has got to be something better. So my way out was EXP. So I'd like everyone to stand up for me, please. We, each one of us has the same opportunity when we wake up every single day. And people ask me all the time, they're like, how you doing? And I say, fantastic, because every day above ground is a good day. <laughs> so repeat after me. I will greet this day as if it is my last. I am the steward of these minutes. I won't get back. Say it again. I will greet this day as if it was my last. And I am the steward of these minutes that I won't get back.
Love you guys. Thank you.